Hello everyone, how are you doing? After all this time, I came back with new video and in this video we're gonna talk about uh, identifying meteorites along with the price table of meteorites and the density. Alright, let's go to the video and um, the small subject. The physical color uh, characteristics and such as density, color, magnetic properties, and can be a guide to identify metroid up to um, seven seventy percent. But for more uh, certainty, chemical and isotopic analysis will be needed. The price of metroid can be very different depending on where they come from. In this, uh, what are the type of meteorites? Uh, we will learn detection methods and, and what, is, uh, what is the order of the density table of meteorite and how to determine their density, how was meteorite priced and valid, where are their registration counters and property and laws located. So stay with the stone scientist to answer this question. The first question, identifying original meteorites according to their physical uh, characteristics. Physical methods are the first step in identification of the meteorites and up to 17% uh, of uh, accurate and reliable results can be obtained by using them. Also, you can first know which stones cannot be meteorite in terms of appearance among the physical methods are first one and magnetic property. Of meteorites are attracted magnet, but it should 90% uh, be noted that some terrestrial stones also stick to meteorite of the moon and mars and some uh, some like that magnet um, quantities contain less than one percent iron so the most precious stone are not picked up by a magnet remember that and or other option and other tests fusion cross is uh, or um, second option is fusion cross and I talk very uh, I talked before about this method uh, in, in my videos in, in this channel but I need to re uh, repeat because the fusion cross is that's a very very important test if the meteorite has just fallen there is um, there is a um, 0.5 to 1 millimeter molten crust on it. Sometimes the burnt crust cracks like leather and and becomes dark in color. Most of the meteorites are light inside, but if if it is the carbon, the inside color is the black and so dark. The molten crust on lunar meteorite is sometimes and sometimes and all the stones are uh, eroded and this effect may not be visible in them in certain cases the desert creates a cross called a desert vanished on the rocks which should not be confused uh, confused with the molten cross or fusion cross and another option another test uh, and number three is porosity However, meteorites generally do not have high porosity. Moon meteorites have many holes on their surface as can exception. If your rock has many holes, it is a volcanic rock and should be tested by other methods like uh, sketch color test, uh, which is the outline color of the mass meteorites is white and colorless are pale while similar terrestrial rocks such as hematite and magnetite have, have a red or brown outline and 
Number five is sharp corners. Meteorites do not have sharp corners when they enter the atmosphere. The sharp edges break or melt, and and they have a shape like um, like circle, like a uh, globe in round. And um, of course, they are not completely assembled. And uh, number uh, number six or seven. If I say right, is the finger pressure sign or rigmaglyphs? And rigmaglyphs must be right. Uh, have a fingerprint like um, depression and often lack reads. And uh, the, the the last option is weight and density. Meteorites are usually heavier and more compact than terrestrial rocks. Most celestial stones have a density. Of three methods of measuring uh, the density of meteorites uh, is like um, is like measuring the specific weight of gems and using a digital scale. In general, if is a stone iron and its density is not between seven and eight, it's probably not a meteorite. Alright, um, remember all options I told you in this video, this is very very important test because if you do this test with careful and very um, professional, you did it, you can find out your rock is a meteorite or a regular rock or a earth rock. Alright, I hope you have, uh, have a good hunt in next days and the days will come and very be careful and see you soon in next video thank you so much bye